Hello, hello. Welcome on in to another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. This Saturday, we are continuing our liqueur series with the Mandarin Napoleon. Good job. Thank you. Did a good job. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click the notification bell. Matt, why don't you tell us a little bit about this? Ooh, Mandarin Napoleon. <laughs> this was a 12-year quest to find this bottle, but I did finally find it after finding it, Mr. Boston. Damn you people. Anyway, so this is Mandarin Napoleon Grand Cuvier. It's 76 proof. So this is cognac, macerated mandarins, aromatic spices, and plants put together. It was found in the late 1700s in Belgium, and it was made specifically for Napoleon Bonaparte, the emperor of Europe at the time. He was he found a chemist in Belgium named Antoine Francois de Forcre, known for his distilling skills. And then it was <laughs> so funny. He smelled it. Oh, you smelled it. Oh, I'm sorry on that. So and he was only made for Napoleon. He freaking loved this crap. And uh, about, crap. about 100 years later, Louis Schmidt found it in his diary to make it. It first sold to the public in 1892. And they used mandarins from, Sicil from Sicily and Corsica. And they used a 10-year cognac. They do have color to it. Okay. The cocktails you can make this is the Napoleon Conquest, the Sunset in Sicily, the Tanzarine Smash. The Mandarin Sour and the Vineyard Grove, and as well as many of those. Mmm, let's see what we think and see how much we can discuss Will. I think that's the new goal like at this it. point. Just what kind of things can Will drink that he hates? I like every single time we do a liqueur, you pull up the bottle and you go, ooh. <laughs> you notice that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do voice. get excited about my liqueurs. Okay, this Jesus. this smells like you uh, get those little cutie oranges, those cutie tangerines, and you totally. peel it right yeah, down. Totally. And then you just squeeze the juice out. Yeah. Yeah, it's and totally that like it, essence it, of orange. It's not like full on orange, like orange juice orange. No. It's it's yeah. more those cutie mandarin oranges, those those yeah, little tiny just tangerine. Yeah. yeah. Tangerine. Tangerine. Orange clove oily essence. It's just it's it even has kind of an like. orange color to it. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I suck out this bottle because I needed it to make the Terminator. It was very important. A five layer drink. And this is the final ingredient. Like I said, it took 12 years to locate one of these. But finally, when Total Wine came to Texas up in Plano, I was visiting my grandparents and my grandfather said we had to go to liquor store. I was like, holy crap, they have Napoleon. I've been looking for this freaking Mandarin Napoleon. Verb. I asked the person, like, we actually have that. It was like $35, but it's very exciting. Okay. I get excited well, about weird things from old books with whiskey and liquors in them. It's, well, all it's I really very get very sweet and very orange. All I really get on it is the Mandarin. Yeah, I'm that's that's really all I can pick up on is really sweet, Ooh. really orange. Not Taste wise. Yes. Tangerine, oranges, little spices, some sugar. It is it is sweet. It's not it is, crazy sticky like some of the other ones we've had. It's not crazy sweet at all. But you know oh, bitterness on the end. That's interesting. The the hmm. the tangerine comes across as real tangerine mm -hmm. mandarin orange flavor on the nose, but on the palate it almost comes off as artificial. Yeah, it's that orange juice level of sweetness followed by bitters. But it's not orange yeah. juice level. It's it's almost like fake orange. Yeah, it's like mm -hmm. that like candy. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, well, it's little, like candy. little orange slice candies covered in yep, sugar. That's exactly what it tastes like. Yep. Okay. It's exactly Except for what it minus is. the spiciness, just the sweetness. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't have that yeah, spice. This to actually it. does have a almost like a like a dash or two of bitters. Agree. On Absolutely the does. And it hits mid palate. You uh -huh. start off with this mm -hmm. rush of sweetness, and then about mid palate, you get this 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 bitters that kind of shows up, and and it rounds things off. It's still way too sweet for you, uh, for me. Yeah. But that being said, I can understand why people would really enjoy the heck out of that, and and how that could be a great component to a lot of different Absolutely. cocktails. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You probably really go good with the. Um... Bubble water. It probably would make a great old fashioned component. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I, that on that. I, I, I can imagine that this and a bourbon would pretty much mimic an old fashioned. Probably so. Yeah. Without having to With add that any other component, maybe throw a cherry in there and you're good to go. Yeah. yeah. All the way for us to find out. Someday we'll try it. Someday. Not today. Nope. Uh, 
All right. So, yeah. It's actually not too bad. I can see it going into um, several different mixed drinks. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. It's good stuff. I'm glad I found it. it. With some orange juice, whatever. Depends on how your day goes. I don't necessarily like it enough to take a second sip of it, but it's uh, it's it's not bad. I'll give it that. All right. Okay. That's as much as I can give you. It's as much as he can give us. He's going to cheers out with our dumb glass from today. There you go. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. And until next time, keep on crocheting better liquids in your glass. Cheers. cheers. It almost has a. Have you ever had Delsim cough syrup? Yes. It almost has Ooh. that kind of flavor to it. It really does. <laughs> Not what that kind of I just got it that last swig. Yep, like you're right. Syrup. I can go with the end. Interesting. Cool. Yeah, really does though. Yeah. Experience. All right. And yeah, ready. You gave me good stuff. Gave me good stuff. I hope you mean epic day. <laughs> I didn't want to look forward to it.